Now that you know how to place your own personal representative order, we're going to go in again to your login screen and we are going to finish out our orders. As you can see, I'm logging in. This time I'm going to click on my orders. Now, as a new representative, you probably have a whole lot of new customers, so you're going to add your new customer. Now the customer must have their first name, last name, and an email address. or their phone number. I'm just putting in my own personal email address. I'm going to click Add Customer and it will give you the customer create successful. Again, exit out of that and you type in your customer's name. I just use Jane Doe just because. Make sure that you're ordering it in the proper campaign and click Create Order. Now you are at your item entry form. This is where you're going to enter in the products that your customer has ordered. If you do not have the product number, you can enter it in here. So let's say I want, um, let's see, let's say I want medium, hold, Hairspray. I'm just going to type the medium hold hair and no products. Well, because I didn't spell hair right. Hair. Medium hold hair. And there is your advanced techniques medium hold hairspray. I'm going to type in the quantity one and hit add to order. And it has added it to my order. Now, when you come back into this and you go down, you're going to see your medium hold hairspray. Now, you're, you can also enter things in by their product number. So I'm going to order Advanced Techniques Daily Shine Mirror Shine Spray, which is item number 883204. As you see, it pops up with one. That is the default quantity. If your customer needs more than one, you can add more than one and click update order. Now that is complete. You can see both things there. And then when you're done with your customer's order, if you need to add more customers or start new order, you can go start new order and go back to this screen. If you are done, however, like I am done, I'm going to come down here and click view all. This is going to bring me to my order cart. If you were in one of your orders, let me just go into my personal order again. If you're in one of your orders and you are through, you can also click the order cart and it will bring you back here. Once you're here, you can see the number of orders that you have, number of units that you have in your order, and an estimated total price that will probably change. You click select all. And it will normally put in one, two, depending on how many orders you have. They always count one order as your own personal representative order. So we're just going to leave it at one and click regular shipment because it's going to come normally, not separate shipment. If there's something in between campaigns that you need, you can click separate shipment and continue to sales tools. Now your sales tools are going to be your brochures, which you should have already ordered. And it's also going to be your Magalogs. And then a special offer. I don't need the special offer. So we're going to click Continue to Order Summary. And here's your order summary. Here's where the availability is listed. If it's not available, it will tell you either not available, do not reorder, or ship expected to ship in whichever campaign. I'm not ready to submit my order to Avon yet, so I'm not going to submit it. But this is where you would go to submit your order. And then once you submit your order, it'll bring you to the order confirmation screen, which is where you can go in to pay Avon or if you don't have to pay them anything, 
you don't have to. It'll just let you know that your order has been confirmed. And then you'll start getting the emails. You'll get an email about your order being confirmed. You'll get a billing email about your order being billed out. And you'll get an, I believe you get an email when your order has been shipped. Um, I normally get two to three emails from Avon after I do an order. And that is it on submitting your orders, adding customers, submitting orders. The next video will go into how to build a future order.